watched me play some distraction games, bowling with my leftover Diet Dr. Pepper bottles, a little bit of card games that didn't last very long. I built a Lego fort, and that all goes into saying that today, the hymn that I'm going to be talking, the great hymn of the faith that I'm going to be talking about is Martin Luther's A Mighty Fortress is Our God. And so I was working on what made a good fortress, so giving some illustrations. Empty bottles that aren't filled up with anything, aren't very solid, card, card houses, houses of cards, very shaky. Legos really kind of are the way to go. And we've learned to work with Legos and we're having to learn to work with, work with them a little bit differently now. So the great hymn that I said that I'm talking about is Martin Luther's A Mighty Fortress is Our God. So it was a very, very familiar song to me that we sang regularly at my seminary. So it evokes great and wonderful memories for me as I studied its meaning and background as I got ready for this devotion. So Martin Luther, as many of you may know, was born in 1483 in Saxony, Germany. He was educated at university and later became an Augustinian monk, teaching philosophy and theology at the University of Wittenberg. Now, on October 31st in 1517, Luther nailed his 95 theses to the door of the cathedral at Wittenberg, Germany condemning the various fact, uh, practices and teachings of the Catholic Church. After several years of stormy disputes within the church and with the church leaders, um, Martin Luther was summoned to give an account in April of 1521 for his new heresy. He was teaching called Justification by Faith Alone. He was asked if he was prepared to recant. He retired to his room that night and read Psalms 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Luther returned the next morning to stand before his detractors and said, My conscience is captive to the word of God. I cannot and I will not recant anything, for to go against the conscience is neither right nor nor safe. God help me. So the Reformation was off and running. So one of the important benefits of the Reformation movement was the rediscovery of congregational singing. Luther had strong convictions about the use and power of sacred music. He said, I wish to compose sacred hymns so that the word of God may dwell among the people also by means of song. So a mighty fortress is Our God was one of the great praise choruses, the praise hymns of his day. Martin Luther wrote A Mighty Fortress is Our God in 1529, and it has been called the Battle Hymn of the Reformation. The words are a paraphrase to Psalm 46. The first line of the hymn is, A mighty fortress is our God, a bulwark never failing. So in verse 1 of Psalm 46, the psalmist writes, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. We can easily see where Martin Luther's thought came from being inspired by Psalm 46, verse 1. Now, at this time when he wrote it, Luther was hiding in exile. He can relate to David, the writer of the psalm, who was also hiding in exile. Luther talks about how the ancient foe doth seek to us woe in um, a mighty fortress. The word refuge in verse 1 is from a verb that means to flee, as fleeing to a lofty wall, a high tower, a fort, or a fortress. The second line of the song, amid the flood of mortal ills prevailing, is inspired by the second verse of Psalm 46. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. This hymn is all about faithfulness, God's faithfulness. If we look briefly at the second verse of the hymn, Dost ask who that may be, Christ Jesus it is he, Lord Sabbath his name, from age to age the same, and he must win the battle. So the Lord Sabbath is the Lord of hosts, or Lord Almighty. And in Psalms 46, the refrain is, the Lord Almighty is with us, that Lord Sabbath. A mighty fortress is our God, and Psalm 46 expresses the great truth that God's presence and power are with us in all circumstances. We need to remember that God during this time, that God is there to help us during this time of quarantine. 
we need to remember that God offers us, offers us two kinds of help. A stronghold into which we can flee and a source by which we can face the uncertain future. This is expressed beautifully in the last part of the last verse of the hymn. Let goods and kindred go, this mortal life also, the body they may kill, God's truth abideth still, his kingdom is forever. So whether we lose all our possessions, all of our family, even our life, we need to remember that God's truth abides forever and that his kingdom is forever and that we will be with him. Now, as we watch some of the examples, the house of cards, falling bowling pins of Diet Dr. Pepper, secure Lego structures, be sure you are putting your trust in a mighty fortress, our God and our King. So let's sing together as we close this time together. The first verse of a mighty fortress is our God. singing along. That was some great singing and worship. Um, I want to invite you to participate today sometime in the National Day of Prayer. Just pray where you are. Check out the website um, that I'm going to include at the end of this video if you need some more information. But be praying for our country. Be praying for our state. Be praying for our church and be praying for one another. God bless you and have a great day.